What's up, YouTube? V Game Rex. I'm reading this gameplay slash commentary, and I'm playing on the map Carbon. And I go and get myself my third MOAB, but my second one, I did not point to my file share, so I didn't get to save it. And I was playing loads of games, and I got two mobs yesterday on Sunday. And I just wanted to upload this one because this was the most entertaining one I thought, and this is the one which was the best timing for what I wanted to do and what I wanted to try and help all you guys. Because what I'm going to try and do this one, this is my start of my series, and I'm going to call it Mobe Monday. I don't know why I gave it that sound, it's just that it's got like two M's at the start, you know. But, so basically what I've been doing lately is I've been running the specialist setup, as you can see from my other video. And I've been trying my best to get some mobs, or moabs, yeah moabs, and I get this one successfully, and the reason I get that is, like, not because I have some insane hacks on, of course, but because I'm not always rushing, or just always trying to be in the enemy spawn, or trying to get the most kills every game. What I tried to do this game was just sit back for that extra couple of seconds trying to get those kills before they got me. And just to start this commentary off, if there is any noise coming from my mic, I apologise once again. As you will hear in my other videos, there is like a severe problem with my mic and it's whenever I move it, it just makes some weird sound. So... Let's kick this off to start off with my class that I'm using at the minute. I, uh, As you can see I'm using the ACR Silence with Kick Proficiency. Then I'm using the FMG Akimbo's obviously. And then the setup is Sleight of Hand, Hard Line and Steady Aim. So what? And then the kill streaks are obviously the specialist setup and it doesn't really matter what you use on the specialist I mean as soon as you get your seven kill streak you have all the perks anyway so it doesn't really matter at all what I try best to do though is to put assassin on first just because I like it the best so with that happening let's let's start off with my assault rifle I'm using an assault rifle rather than a submachine gun because this is a it's not really a close range map, but I have my guns for close range and I have a guns for fast range. <sighs> Sorry about this bit guys, the host migration, so you just have to like bear with me on the bow this. Right. So anyway, the host migration was like really bad in this game. I mean it splits up the clips and everything. I wish they could just combine the games together. That'd be so much easier to upload and everything. But anyway, we want an assault rifle on be just because of the range. You, you're going to need to be shooting. I couldn't shoot that with a UMP as easy as I did it with the ATR just then with a silencer. And it's got quite a lot of damage for the range that you're doing with it. So then my submachine guns, or no, secondary machine pistols, are obviously the FMGs. If you guys, I'm guessing all of you know that these are the most overpowered submachine guns on the game. You can use any gun against it and it will beat them with ease most of the time. So, with that being said, the guns are like near enough set up and the equipments really do depend on what level you are. Because what I would advise is putting a portable radar on just to throw around into like spots where you wouldn't be covering all the time. So, what I, I would put a portable radar where I am now, I'd probably put it down next to this tractor. So then, every time I know someone's coming in from the door, where you'll see where I am and when I get my mobs. But if someone's coming in from one of the doors, then I'm obviously covering it. And that is just... That's just like common sense, really. So... I actually do like making these videos, find it hard to believe. So you've got your... And then you've got your... I think the motion sensor goes in the stun grenade one. I don't know what that one's called. So you've obviously got all your stun grenades down. Gone. Sorry. And you've got grenades. Uh, I think you could probably put a claim on. I mean, that's one kill towards but I've been I've seen see people using C4s on these game and I watched someone throw it and it was just it threw it went no got thrown an unbelievable amount of distance. I don't know whether you guys have used it but I watched some guy throw it a long way. I don't know whether he was actually like throwing something always like you know the little type of dust things that come down on this game. Like one of those I'm not too sure. And what are you doing game are you camping once again? So we've got all that done. It's live hand I don't really know why I have Slive Hand on it. It was just always one of those personal preferences. I always like to have the quick reload and the fast gun swap. 
for those like closed games. Look, here's a good example of the FMG. Look, I'm just taking that guy out with ease, and he's just behind some big unshootable thing in the walls aren't but look there's another guy they all just fall victim i mean i don't even think i have to explain this to you guys and there's another example of the acr for like the range on it if i was using a submachine gun such as ump i'd probably like tap the trigger just so it goes out bullets go out one by one and at the minute you'll see i'm in their spawn and i know where they're spawning they are spawning just up by the tractor and down in that bottom corridor so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to stay as close to their spawn as possible and i do that very successfully as you'll see in like the very few seconds as they're just spawning across because i just go in the top floor here and i kind of wait out inside this room and it finishes off this game real nice so and also you have the height advantage here you never want to go into a gun battle unless you've got the advantage i would say I mean, if you're just sitting there and you don't have the advantage, then that would just be like a stupid decision. Because say someone's out behind a brick wall, let's say, where the bullets take less damage to shoot through and you can only see the top half of his head. Do you actually know how hard uh, that is for you to kill him than it is for him to kill you? So, look, my friend, I'm in the game with my friends here, by the way. I always advise going into lobbies with your friends. It's so much better, but most of the time I actually don't. So... That probably does affect my scores quite a lot then. But yeah, this game, I'm just going to work. I tried to work out the, what I would advise to do, guys. I mean, this is a little bit over the top. But try and get a full lobby and try and get one person to put an advanced UAV on. You can recognize spawns really quickly. I can look here. A, I should have got two of those. I only got one. But look, they're still just coming at me. So this was the first episode of Moab Monday, guys. I would love if you guys could get this to 10 likes. I mean, this is like a really long commentary. This is going to take a couple of hours to render. And so I love making videos. I can't say it any other way. I love making videos. I love posting them on the internet. And there's the Moab. Hope you guys have been watching this video. Stay tuned because next Monday there will be another video. And on Saturday or Sunday there will more than likely be a Moab getting uploaded then. Thank you guys for watching and watch the spawn kill just after the Moab. So remember guys, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been VGamerX and I'm bringing this gameplay. So see you later.